Hey, Doctor. Good morning. This is a great, great morning today. You know, we have been uh, doing this for quite some time during the enhanced community quarantine, and we're very excited that uh, I'm back with a very special guest directly from Texas, USA. You know, you know we are always excited morning in the in the Philippines and probably 9, 9, 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. in other countries or especially in the U.S. and we are being watched globally. We are uh, very much, you are very much welcome to join us, Dental Marketing Philippines. All you have to do is just like the page and you can share it to your friends, you can share it to your co-dentists and even your patients because today's presentation is all about bleaching. But before we proceed with the bleaching, you know, Dental Marketing Philippines is a great avenue for you. This is a community where we give you tools, social media, website, chatbots. We do artificial intelligence and we provide you lectures. We provide you seminars that will aid you in your practice and your dental business. Again, as I always tell, your clinic is a business. Your profession is your practice. All right. So next, next slide is I would just like to get a give you review that uh, we're able to get uh, good presentations from Dr. Stephen B. Almonte. So we have had him last April 7, and you know we were able to get to know how is he as a leader and your, your organization, Q&A with your president. Then uh, next would be April 10, I was able to give you pandemic, its effect to your dental practice and dental business. This is a webinar. Free webinar for all of you. All you have to do is just go to Dental Marketing Philippines page and you can do review of all the videos that we have. And this is a great topic. We are also discuss that, uh, you know, we're able to discuss to a medical doctor, a surgeon, the use of telemedicine in, in our current situation today. So uh, we're able to learn how it is being applied without the physical connections or physical direct person-to-person -person contact with your patients. And also, we're very fortunate that we're able to get hold of Dr. Matthew Gillespie. And he was able to discuss that, you know, dental marketing is needed in your practice. And, and even if you're practicing biomimetic restorative dentistry, we were able to build a value-based dental practice using this. It's a great avenue. You can also check out the review in the dental marketing page. You can check out all the videos there. And yesterday, it was a blast, you know. Uh, it opened us an opportunity for all of the dentists out there. There's, you know, Dr. Sonia was able to deliver the untold secrets. You no, know? she was able to establish a successful geriatric mobile dental program in the U.S., specifically in Florida. And we have analyzed and firmly believe that this it can work in the country. So you can check that out also uh, with with the dental marketing page and also in my YouTube channel. So again, today is a great opportunity for me. And for all of us dentists, so that we'll be able to bring you uh, everything about bleaching and also specific on that specific product. So uh, this is a, a great uh, way to just give a full service in terms of learning, in terms of materials that are being used in bleaching. And you can ask questions. So while doing the presentation, you can ask questions and we will be able to ask our guest speaker. You know, I also discuss about the dentistry being exposed to diseases. So 95% based on the New York Times post. So you are exposed. So you have to really take care and uh, then get some protocols with, with your organization because your physical proximity is 99%. So 99% po ang inyong pagkalapit sa pasyente. So if, if patients is suffering or a, a, a COVID-19 positive, you're in danger. Why? Because most of the COVID positive patients Sometimes they're asymptomatic. You'll never know. That's why you have to protect yourself. So I also discussed this pandemic effect your business, dental profession, teledentistry, no PPE, don't practice, how long will it last, recovery of business, getting back to learning and earning. Can you make it through? And also practice bankruptcy in 1946, which we don't want to happen today. And I do have several recommendations on 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 uh, this, this time. So we, it is divided into three phases. Number one today. What can you do today while you are home and no practice? You cannot be able to practice because we do have a lot of uh, standard protocols and we're still waiting for the lipman uh, to be ma ma lift yung enhanced community quarantine po natin. So today, what you can do is, as I said, divide it into three. Today, you can learn to do marketing. 
and you can enhance your discipline by attending a lot of seminars just like today the topic is going to be bitching so after you have learned all of this so these are already in your brain and in your heart next you think you pray relax and apply and get back to work slowly so you don't have to rush yourself to, to get that sales traction right away it's gonna take slowly but rest assured it will just go back to normal pretty pretty soon no and the third one is the recovery i'm pretty sure of course it's not it's not automatic that all of your patients will be there again but we're just hoping that it will turn out 360 degrees so my third recommendation when the third phase is be patient and stay focused you have to have when the a, a, a fresh graduate mentality when you're eager to practice and you're very motivated to succeed in your practice all right so that's my recommendation and if you want to check out that video of my lecture i've discussed about the pandemic lecture global dental business i've also discussed about the dental trends 2024 up to 2024 aba fda recommendations so we're waiting for the PAD, pda recommendations i also discussed there a simple protocol and procedures of your dental practice. Makikita niyo po doon, may high vacuum, may aerosol, so everything about that. And I sum it up with my recommendations. So you can check it out at YouTube, HTTPS, nakikita niyo po dyan, that, the long slash, U2TU dot BE slash 16W underscore JBZGCBY. And you can check out my lecture over there. Okay? So, uh... We are now, we are going now to uh, the presentation and uh, I'm very excited to present with you my guest. I will be asking him first, no? So uh, let's welcome Mr. Arturo Favia, the president of Globident USA. How are you, Arturo? Doing great. Doing doing great. great. How, are you, How are you, Dr. Are you, Dr. Yeah, I, I'm doing great. You know, we are uh, giving service to all the Filipino dentists and even to all patients who are watching right now because we are live streaming in a dental marketing page. And of course, I will also be sharing our conversation with some of the some of the pages that I currently handle. So, so you are in Texas, right? Yes. Yes. We are. Can you can you can you tell me more something about you know what's happening there or? Uh, what is Global Dance before we proceed with your actual presentation, sir? Sure. And you say hi to Filipino people. <laughs> hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. First of all, thank you for, 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 for putting this together and, and, and for, for educating all of us in, in, this in this time. time of, of, um, of course, a little, a little bit of a challenge. Of, of course, there's some opportunity for us to make the most of this period. Yes, we're here in Texas. We are. Adjusting, adjusting to the period, to the period. Um, uh, we also see it as an opportunity for things that can come, come. Um, um, and there's and always, it, it also it gives also us time to think about, about new things, new we, can things we can come up, come up with. with. Uh, to, to give you a little bit of a background about, about Global Dance, Global Dance, uh, uh, we mainly focus on new products, as Mr. Roche mentioned. We've been around, We've been for, around about for about three years, years and we are already have a very global, global presence, presence, including, the Philippines, including the Philippines, but of course, but of course every continent, continent Middle East, Europe, Asia, Europe Asia, North, and North and South America. South America. So, so we are quickly, quickly growing. growing. Yes, we are yes, young. We, are young we have a lot we have of it behind us. us. Um, um, my own personal experience actually helped develop products for another company. Um, and I did it for over 10 years. I went ahead and got the experience with it. And made a course to the products to work. Really trying to get a much better reputation to what Teeth White really is. A lot of talk about Teeth White where we made a little bit turned off. We are making sure to change that with three main points that I'll pull over in my presentation. But to kind of go over a little bit of that, as I said, we're already at 30 points. We are very excited to really hear about you know whitening and bleaching. Before we proceed with the presentation, we are uh -huh. going to arrange the audio. There's one comment already that it's a, that okay. a little bit of echo. Okay. So we have arranged that a while ago. Uh, it, they are getting it uh, not that clear. So again, this is a great opportunity for us, for, for us to arrange the audio while we are on live before we continue with the actual presentation. So How does that work uh, now? That work now? 
yeah, yeah. A little bit okay. Can you, yeah, can you? Okay, okay. So you are in lockdown there in Texas. Yes, we're, yes, in, Texas. we're in Texas. And then uh, in the, uh, the, situation the situation here is, here is it's it's okay. It's okay. calm. It's, it, it's yes, it, there's, yes, there's there's cases like there's all over the world. The world that I, I believe that things are under control. Um, you know, um, our, our president talks to us, our governor talks to us, and everybody at home right now. Um, but, but everyone's keeping their distance thing, or um, schools are closed, so they're trying to keep our activity down. But actually, I have a talk to mention today, the centers are closing into a little bit of a the beginning again on the end of things are certainly looking a little bit higher, but we all understand that it's time to, for things to get to what the new normal might. Yeah, there will be definitely a new norms in our in our business and at the same time in our daily living so without without further ado i think it's it's time for you to uh, uh do your presentation so uh again uh go ahead mr mr uh Pavia. it's your sure. time uh sure. Uh, we have our, our we map have our, of our, 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 our global event and, 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 and we're already very global in the three years that we are having in existence um we uh we are already in over 30 countries. And as mentioned, we are already in, in pretty much in Asia, Europe, Middle East, North and South America. Um, as I was mentioning at the very beginning, our focus is teeth whitening, oral care and teeth whitening, but mainly teeth whitening. And what I mean by teeth whitening, um, there's many areas for teeth whitening that can be targeted by, by a dentist. And this is where this um, image shows all of our products. Um, we have from our most popular product, which is the in-office whitening. Uh, we also have our traditional tray whitening, um, a more of a personal teeth whitening product also, and some oral care products include toothpaste and toothbrushes. Uh, I, as I was mentioning, there's, we, we want to make sure that when we're talking about teeth whitening, that we take care of three concerns that a lot of dentists have talked about. Uh, when they're introducing teeth whitening, because when somebody goes to a dental office, when when or even a dentist or the customer or even um, anybody who's offering it, they'll think, how long does the teeth whitening take? What is the cost? And does it cost sensitivity? So when we are designing all of our products, we really try to make sure we tackle those main points um, so that it is minimized or it is to the most advantage to the dentist, of course, and to the patient. Um, our most popular products, as I mentioned, is our in-office whitening. And um, you'll see reviews online from, from some of our competitors that although they do offer great results, people are scared of it because first of all, it takes in, in a dental office, sometimes dentists have to spend almost two hours in a teeth whitening. And with our product, the Blanquist Pro, the Global and Blanquist Pro, Patients could be done in 45 minutes. Um, the cost, um, because of our, our how we have developed our uh, the procedure itself, along with the ingredients and um, just all these different aspects, we've really minimized costs as much as possible, so that this is something that uh, everyone should be able to offer at a very affordable price. And when you mix this, the procedure and the time since you're minimizing the time, especially in our ingredients um, that help with sensitivity, sensitivity is gonna be very minimal, if any at all. Um, so, you know, we're thinking a lot about these days. Uh, again, there's gonna be some challenges as, as we start getting used to, uh, so that, um, I'm sorry, one second. Okay, um, so as we are adjusting to these times, uh, you know, I'm trying to think how how can we be able to pr provide this more? Um, how many people are actually going to be wanting to get teeth whitening done? Um, is this something that they need to do? Well, if you look at the time that you're going to be dedicating to teeth whitening and the cost you're going to be with offering, it's not the same as our major competitors because major competitors they they're charging a lot of money for for the product that you that dentists are purchasing. Um, our cost is going to be significantly less, which will allow you to offer the procedure, the in-office procedure, at a very affordable cost. Um, 
not only that, but the time that you're actually dedicating to do a procedure in the dental office is going to be a lot shorter, 45 minutes for the in office, or you have the options of offering the home off the home whitening uh, for them to take home. But again, your cost is going to be so low to where the patient should be comfortable, should feel comfortable of taking it in and not having to spend as much um, as much money on it. And again, since the procedures, the way the procedure, we have to design the procedures to be so short, sensitivity, which is a main thing that kind of turns people away from teeth whitening, it is very, very minimal, if any at all. In most cases, we would say about 95% of the cases, there's no sensitivity. And if there's any sensitivity in the cases, uh, it, it's very minimal. It's very minimal that should be taken care of with uh, the potassium nitrate that we include with our kids or um, just over time. It's, it literally will go away very quickly. Uh, so again, I'll most likely have to go over our main product, which is the Blankquist Pro. This is our in-office whitening. Um, the Blankquist Pro is a five patient kit. Um, when, it, when it comes to the procedure of the Blankquist Pro, we are using the 35% hydrogen peroxide. And in the hydrogen peroxide, it is, uh, again, it's a very simple procedure to where all the dentists really need to do is a simple application of the gingival barrier. Um, let me go ahead and exit out of this. So you can see that the, it's you'll be using a gingival barrier um, to protect the gums because it's 35% um, hydrogen peroxide that we use. Of course, you need to protect the gums. So the application of the gingival barrier will take anywhere from five minutes at the most to, to use. Um, but then once you are, once you're doing the actual whitening, our syringes, again, is 35% hydrogen peroxide. What you will do is you're gonna do three sessions of 15 minutes each. Now, there's a couple of options when it comes to that. Um, if you are a dentist that has already invested in a light, you are able to use our whitening with our whitening accelerator, with a light. If you have that option, then your whitening will be three sessions of 10 minutes each. So it'll actually be faster, 30 minutes. Again, the faster the procedure, then the less risk of sensitivity that there's gonna be. If you don't have an accelerator and you don't wanna to have to invest in an accelerator, then that's okay. Our gel does not require a, a light to be used. Um, so for that instance, if you're not using an accelerator, yes, it'll take a little bit longer, three 15 minute sessions, but you're looking at 45 minutes total. Um, again, this is compared to other procedures that, although they are effective in the results, but they take anywhere from 20, minute sessions, you know, the, the total about an hour, an hour and a half to two hours, where you're doing procedures that long, then, uh, then you're lo really looking at increasing the, the risk of sensitivity. Um, so again, as you're looking at 45 minutes total for the procedure and the cost that you're, 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 that you're providing to your customers to get the whitening, then this should be a good way to attract customers back into your office. And I've seen many uh, dentists offer whitening for free because the cost is, is very affordable to dentists itself that they are, have that option that where they can office the whitening for free to bring them back. Or if you are gonna be offering the procedure itself, it'll be a very low cost where people are not feeling that they have to uh, be spending um, you know, too much money on, on the procedure itself. Uh, and again, th th there's the other aspects that people kind of get turned away from teeth whitening is sensitivity, how much money and how much time they have to dedicate to it. In, in less than an hour, they'll be in and out of the dental office. So less chair time for the dentist, of course, less chair time for the actual patient to be in there in that setting where they have to be whitening. Um, and the cost of the dentist is less, the cost of the patient is less. So it kind of opens options for you to be able to offer the procedure. and that negative uh, thought of, of worrying about sensitivity, that should be turned to a positive now. Uh, teeth whitening is not about sensitivity, not with global dent products. Uh, teeth whitening should be about feeling comfortable, having a fast procedure, something that you can do now, going to an office um, and, and getting that bright, shiny white smile that you've been looking for uh, for a long time. Now, 
like this being our most popular product is the in office, but then we have other options when it comes to whitening. Um, the most traditional way to whiten your teeth is doing uh, home bleaching. The home bleaching, of course, is when uh, you are doing the trays for your patients. And of course, you'll end up using the Eva material to create the trays and all, it comes with its own case. And the whitening, the Blanquist home will come with syringes. 6% is for the home whitening. 6% hydrogen peroxide. Um, hydrogen peroxide, I know a lot of people use carbamide peroxide. The 6% hydrogen peroxide will be equivalent to about what you would say a 21 or 22% carbamide peroxide. Again, the three aspects, uh, time, money, and sensitivity. Time for hours will be 30 minutes a day for nine to 10 days because it is a 6% hydrogen peroxide. You're not looking at an hour a day. You're not looking at overnight whitening. This is 30 minutes a day for nine to 10 days. In the kit, there is six syringes with three milliliters each. So pretty much just enough for 18 of the procedures, 18 of the 30 minute procedures. So there's plenty of gel for the patient to use and plenty for them to do maintenance. Um, in some cases, we've seen people use this for uh, more patients since there's really more than enough material. Um, so again, we're tackling the same aspects. Time, 30 minutes, it's much faster. Much faster means less sensitivity. And of course, um, we'll be able to discuss about cost, which is something that I'm sure Mr. Rocha will be able to discuss with with um, his his patients or his clients in the Philippines. Well, that's something I can discuss directly with um, our distributors or dentists worldwide. The next option is home whitening. This is personal whitening. It also this is something that you can sell to your to your patients or they can buy it directly. It also uses a six percent hydrogen peroxide concentration. Okay, so with the 6% hydrogen peroxide, the advantage to this kit also is again, the time, um, but the kit it, it comes with a built-in light. It's our own personal light, and it has three connections that can connect to any portable device. So for this gel, you're actually gonna apply a one CC on the top and the bottom of the tray, the tray is already built in, so you don't have to build, you don't have to make a tray for the patient. It's one size fits all, very flexible. And then once they apply the gel on the tray, the person's gonna bite down to it. And then since you know a lot of us are on social media or on our phones every day, you pretty much connect it to your phone and up oh, wrong side. And it'll turn on the light. So since you're using a light then that means the procedure is accelerated, it's faster. So going back to the tray, instead of doing 30 minutes a day for a 6% gel, well, if you're using the light, 6% hydrogen peroxide, you're gonna do 15 minutes a day. Um, you can do it twice a day, 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night, and you're gonna do that for two to three days. Okay, so to review very quickly with the Luxrite, you're gonna do two sessions a day, for two to three days. That'll get you the, the results that you're looking for. Um, but when you are, uh, after you've done the first initial six sessions to a day for two to three days, there's gonna be plenty of gel left over in the kit for you to do a touch up, okay? And I'll show you the kit itself open, but the kit itself includes three gels of whitening, and the blue syringe is uh, potassium nitrate, which helps with any sensitivity that may occur. Again, with 6%, it's more than likely to not occur at all. Um, but since there's three syringes, five cc's each, there's 15 cc's pretty much in the whole bit. So that's enough for 15 sessions. If you've done six sessions already to get the initial results, two sessions a day for three days, um, then you're looking at having nine procedures left. So what you would do is maintenance because you've, you've worked hard for, uh, to, maintain, to get you those results. Well, now it's only about maintaining. And to maintain, all you really need to do is do one session a month. Again, using the light, just 15 minutes a month to maintain the results that you've looked for. Uh, there's many options using a combination of all of these. 
uh, all of our products. You can do, the dentist will be able to offer the in office, the Blanquist Pro. Um, and if they've done that, then of course the patient may wanna maintain those results. You can provide the home tray whitening or you can sell or you can provide the Lux Bright to your patients so they can um, pretty much maintain those those results for for as long as they need to. Or um, it is recommended that once you've done a professional procedure that you pretty much only have to do a professional procedure once a year um, and then just use all the other options to maintain those results. Uh, <clears throat> now, as dentists, of course, we provide a lot of materials. Um, of course, we have our Facebook page um, that, that we can share. Um, I'm sure you'll be able to find us on Facebook or we can post it somewhere here on our presentation. Um, but our Facebook page already has over 100,000 followers. All of our Global Dent community is connected in there, including dentists worldwide, our, um, our distributors worldwide. And if you go on there, actually I can go on there very quickly right now. So you can see um, we have both our Facebook page and we have our Instagram page, uh, which we also have, of course, a Twitter page and LinkedIn. Um, but these are our most popular ones. But our distributors will post material um, on a regular basis. And you'll see even cases of before and afters. You'll, you'll see our YouTube videos, which, of course, you're more than welcome to um, download and place it in your, in your dental office for people to see how a procedure works, especially our, our in-office whitening, um, but also our Instagram page where you will see, again, as, as distributors and our dentists start putting uh, the before and afters, that way people can see how our products work, how simple um, the procedure can be, and of course, our products, um, us being all over the world. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, many things that, that set us apart from, from, a lot of the things that set us apart from those because you see a teeth whitening companies you know there's there's many competition you know there's the zooms of the world there's the ultra dents um global dent is, is a young company um but we're not one of those large corporations we're more of a family business and you'll you'll really get that feeling um we make ourselves available day and night um you know to answer your questions to dentists um but we really work closely together. Um, we're working closely with our distributors, creating materials, creating videos, creating studies, um, creating cases. Uh, so we work very closely together and we wanna keep that feeling um, of being able to support each other like we are through these times. Uh, we're, we're communicating daily um, to make sure we provide everything that you need, um, again, with materials or just maybe also um, any support that there, there, there might be needed. Um, uh, a lot of other, another thing that people like to look at also, um, how our certifications, we also, all of our products are, you know, have our main certifications, our FDA certification, CE certification, and of course, um, the GMP, which is good manufacturing processes, um, that of course that helps people have that confidence that we have the standards in our manufacturing processes. Um, we have offices all over the world. We have our headquarters here in Houston, Texas. Uh, but of course, we have some main distributors in Europe. And we also have a Latin American distributor that's based in, in Miami. And um, of course, like as, as I mentioned, we're already in our over 30 countries worldwide and looking to grow further, of course. Um, here's the links to our social media pages. Um, and also, um, now that I look about back, Back at it, we also have one additional product, which is in our Sonic Electric Brush. Um, I can actually show it to you here, but our Sonic Electric Brush is is very competitive when it comes to the Sonic Care. It has the pretty much the five features, and I can should be able to offer it right here. No, wrong way. It's very durable. Battery goes um, a month without having to recharge it. And the five features include clean, sensitive, massage, whiten, and polish. It has a two-minute build-in timer. Uh, 
again, we're more of a, a younger company. So even though our technology is very advanced, uh, we still have some some work to get to work to get more globally known. But this will compare more to the Sonicare um, toothbrush that's out there by um, one of our competitors. But it has the same exact features. But again, the price is going to be a lot more welcoming to any of the uh, anyone who'd be interested in our products. We also have a bamboo brush that's all very eco-friendly and we're gonna be heading in the direction towards eco-friendly products, um, eco-friendly ingredients. Um, because uh, as you can see, there's there's a lot of concern when it comes to uh, the environment. So we wanna make sure we take part, our part in, in helping with the environment. And lastly, we have our toothpaste, which is of course, it's also whitening, um, but it also has uh, some tea tree oil, which helps with the aspect of gum disease. Um, so this is more of our core products. Uh, as, as mentioned, our main focus is teeth whitening, all aspects of teeth whitening in office, home tray whitening, and you saw the personal light. Um, so this is our global end products of teeth whitening, but we also have some oral care like you saw in the uh, toothpaste, toothbrush, uh, but we'll be adding more products as, as of course, as time progresses. Um, so I can go ahead and, and leave it at that when it comes to all of our products. Um, Mr. Rich, I'm not sure if there's any questions that, that may be right. Um, that anybody might want to ask. I'll be more than happy to, to go over any product in more detail if, if needed. Um, but of course, we also have some before and after cases that uh, people may want to see. Um, let me see. Okay. Yes. Hello, Mr. Roche. Um, I don't think I can hear you right now. Okay, okay now okay, can you. There's a little in the audio, but but uh, I, I have received uh, a few questions, so uh, I'd like to. Okay. Okay, um, I couldn't hear you, but I can't see the presentation. It's pretty, pretty much just asking how long can teeth whitening last before the next session? Uh, that's a very common question. Um, it, it, when it comes to the professional whitening, especially the in office, let me actually lower my volume so that there's less. Okay, when it comes to the in office, okay, when it comes to the in office, in office whitening will get the stain built on the inner part of the tooth. Of course, the more the outer stains, the, um, the, the surface stains, but the in-office will get more of the deeper in stains that have been built over years. So when you're taking care of those stains, the results are gonna last more between a year to two. After that, the stains that kind of start coming back to patients are more of the uh, surface stains from just drinking coffee or um, tobacco stains and so forth. So it'll be easier, so to, it'll maintain be those, easier to maintain those stains by either doing home whitening or doing the personal whitening. But overall, uh, the personal whitening. A professional whitening will oh. last anywhere from a oh. year or two, depending on their habits. But they're, once you've done the whitening, it, last it, off, year, it's easier to maintain after that period. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't hear your question. It just says mute, I think, in your screen. It can last for one year. It can last for one year. Yes, yes. The results will last for at least a year, especially if you do the in-office whitening. Um, and then they have the patients will have the option to do maintenance. Uh, to you know, with our other products, so those results can last even longer. Um, but typically, the results will last anywhere from a year to two. It also depends a lot on the person's drinking and eating habits, because if they're 
if they do the professional whitening um, and they're drinking um, and coffee they're and drinking not maintaining or using tobacco products or drinking red wine, then of course those three souls are gonna take are not gonna last as long. But if they're maintaining, then those results will last a longer period of time. The, there, there's one more uh, point that I wanted to bring up that also will help um, with the results lasting longer. There's that rule that after you do any whitening, you want to stay away from anything that stains teeth, uh, any colored drinks or foods for 24 to 48 hours. So if you're whether you're doing the in office or if you're doing um, the personal whitening, or if you're doing the home tray whitening, uh, you want to avoid any staining food or drinks for 24 to 48 hours. Um, as, because during that period, your, your teeth are actually still whitening, but they're also very um, susceptible or very exposed to, uh, they're very, pretty much hydrated or dehydrated. So anything that is taking in during that, that first window of 24 to 40 hours, it'll be sucked right back into the, to the teeth. So you want to avoid any of those in order for your results to last longer. Okay, so this is another question. Can whitening... Okay. Um, can whitening really damage teeth? And also, can a damaged teeth be whitening? <clears throat> No, whitening cannot damage teeth. Um, of course, we're going to see some studies, um, and, and a lot of it has to do with um, perhaps some brands that are, are not as advanced when it comes to their ingredients. Um, one thing you want to look at is the pH level of a gel. Okay, If it's very acidic or very abrasive, then that's going to be very that can that, that can cause um, some damage to the dentin layer. Um, of course, we focus on the right pH balance um, and a right uh, acidity level, um, and of course, no abrasiveness when it comes to our whitening. And also, uh, another factor to add in is the time of procedure. Thirty-five percent for the in office is the right percentage for teeth whitening to be done in the office. Um, from my past experience and from the studies that we've done, anything higher than that, uh, then you are you may be adding uh, some slight risk to to the nerve, um, to the you know to the dental nerves, or even some abrasiveness. And if you're exposing somebody to that high percentage for a long period of time in the procedure, then there might be some risk. Uh, but we've made sure not to do that with our products. Thirty-five percent is a very good limit. Our pH balance is right for not to there be any damage. Um, and the procedure is short enough to where it's really not a concern. It's really not a concern. Okay. Okay, so that kind of, I, I couldn't hear the question, but I'm looking at the screen. Um, it, it pretty much answers the same question I just, I just mentioned. Yeah, is the whitening materials of Glovodin safe? Any risk or side effects? Um, yes, they're, they're very safe. That's our priority. Uh, safety is our priority. Um, unfortunately, some competitors will extend the procedures because that's the only way they can provide any type of result. Uh, we've made sure that our ingredients are safe. Uh, we use very safe ingredients, very safe procedure, very fast procedure so that any type of risk is minimized, not just because of the time, again, but also because of the ingredients that we use. Any risks or side effects with teeth whitening? Um, no, not, not if you're, you're exposing this at the right amount or the right time. Uh, side effects, and, you know, and as in many cases, sensitivity. But as I've mentioned with all of our products, um, we minimize that or get rid of it completely because of the time of the procedure and the ingredients that we use. So all of those combined um, minimize or provide really no, side, no negative side effects.
<laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. <clears throat> There's a little bit of problems with the audio connection in my stream, but I, I, I can hear you now. Hello? <clears throat> Okay, so can you hear me? Because I can read the question. Okay, so that's the next question. Um, it says, I have a big event. How far in advance should I get whitening? That's a great question. Um, of course, you don't wanna, um, for the reason actually I mentioned before we had the little difficulty, it, there's a period after you get your professional whitening or any whitening that you wanna avoid any colored drinks or food. And that's 24 to 48 hours, 48 hours to be safe. Uh, so, you know, if you have a big event, like an interview, or if you have a wedding or a graduation, um, it'd be safer to do teeth whitening a week beforehand, just to be safe. Um, because then you give you give it plenty of time for your teeth to recover, um, as far as the, the, the dehydration. Um, and then after that, then, uh, you know, I'm sure there's, uh, other events that you may not aware, like somebody might stop by and celebrate with you a couple of days before. So you wanna be able to drink that red wine or you wanna be able to uh, you know, have a cup of coffee and, and just kind of be at your best before your big event. But um, to recap that answer, uh, you perhaps a week advance would be a very safe time period. Um, mainly 24 to 48 hours is, is, is more of the closest time that you wanna avoid. Okay, um, there's the next question. Sure, it says, uh, will this procedure work if I have a crown on veneers? Okay, so there's different ways you wanna approach this. It, yes, you can, first the answer is yes, you can do the procedure if you have crown on veneers. It will not damage crowns or veneers. Um, of course, you wanna focus the teeth whitening on, on natural teeth, um, vital teeth, but if, you, if it's placed on crown of veneers, it will clean them. It will clean them to the natural color that they were initially made for, okay? So what we've seen a lot of dentists do is if they're gonna be doing crowns of veneers to patients, they wanna do a whitening first. Um, that way you reach the maximum color, the na maximum natural color of their teeth and then they will make the crown or veneer to match that color. Um, that way you have a nice level, you know, smile and, and all pretty much consistent, um, you know, all the way across. But uh, again, recap, it won't damage your crowns of veneers. Uh, so people are always afraid of doing that. Do that you, don't, you don't have to worry, don't about, have to worry that. about that. <laughs> okay, yeah, good, good. So another question. Go ahead, that's okay. I see the next question. It says, is this okay with Go bracelets? Ahead, that's okay, I see the next question. How will I know if it's okay, okay for me? How will I know if it's okay for me? Um, I would personally I, not recommend um, to be, I would personally not recommend to be if you have braces. Now, there's a couple of things with this question itself. Typically, you wanna do teeth whitening after you've removed your braces. Um, that's that's actually a main question. And, and a lot of cases that we've seen is um, children. Um, you know, children get their braces removed and they want to get their teeth whitening. And they ask, is it safe for for, um, for children to get the teeth whitening done? I, kinda, I know it's kind of like a tangent question, um, but first of all, is it okay with braces? We would not recommend it if the braces are on. Um, if if a dentist is using an accelerator, accelerator, <laughs> accelerator light with the whitening, um, there might be some heat being exposed to their braces that they might feel that heat on their teeth. So that's one reason why I wouldn't avoid, I would avoid it. Um, but once it's safer to wait until the braces are removed, um, that way the whitening really reaches all of the area of the teeth. Um, and going back to the other point I was trying to make, it's safe to wait until children are over the age of 16 to whiten their teeth. 
okay because um and actually most most of the discretion of of um of the parents of course and they will have to fill out a consent form where it says you know um, no one at the age of 16 should whiten their teeth because you want their teeth to be uh, i guess fully grown um before you have any whitening done with them okay let's see my husband used to be Okay, let's see. Do we have any more questions? <laughs> I can't hear you. Okay. And so Okay, now I can okay, hear you. You just I have there are there guidelines for patients a day before they start in office or is it possible to write it on the on the whatsapp or here in the chat on the live comments okay I see um are the guidelines for patients a day before they start in office whitening is that the question we're talking about Michelle Mencias Okay, it's, it's, um, so I'll go to that question. Is there a way to whiten my teeth on the go? Uh, <clears throat> there's a couple of options for teeth whitening on the go. Um, there is our Lux Bright. So which is one of the products we, we featured earlier. Um, so this is a very, this is a portable light. Okay, so it's 6%, 6 hydrogen peroxide on our Lux Sprite. And yeah, you pretty much are able to do your own, um, carry your own tray and carry your own gel. And yes, uh, we've, if, if actually there's a lot of samples of it on our Facebook page, but you'll see people doing this on during their daily routine, whether they're studying or doing some in-office work or, um, uh, you know, even during their social media time. Um, but yeah, this is a portable light. It's, it's home accessible. And the advantage also to, to a dentist is that you're able to sell this to the patient. You don't have to um, worry about doing the tray for the patient. This already has a one size fits all uh, tray for the patient. Um, okay, I can actually read a couple of other questions in here. I had not clicked on this section. Um, it says, my husband used to be a smoker. When he stopped, he used global to buy great results. Thank you. <laughs> um, are there guidelines for patients a day before they start in office whitening? Um, not necessarily. Um, some, some dentists do a cleaning the day of the whitening. It's not really required to do, but it, it can be a step that will be helpful um, to do the teeth whitening. But uh, really, any other any other guidelines for teeth whitening other than that? No, it, it's it's one thing that I really want to reiterate a lot is that you want to. This is really as uh, we want to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, the procedure is simple. The requirements are going to be very simple, and the post procedure is going to be very simple. Um, so uh, that's pretty much the um, what will we have for that. It, there's really not going to be any guidelines. It's more of the after, um, as after they do the whitening, avoid uh, any color stains or food. And really the best way to, to tell that to a patient for them to understand, first of all, get them prepared for that mentally that when they get their whitening, that they're not gonna be able to have that cup of coffee the next day, or they're not gonna be able to drink that wine that night. Uh, so get them mentally prepared for that. Um, and and I mean, it's, it's pretty much simple after that. It's 24 to 48 hours. Best way for them to understand is anything that'll stain a white shirt, stay away from for 24 to 48 hours. It's a very simple way to keep that in mind. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's see. Any other questions, Mr. Roche? I can also... Um, <laughs> okay. 
trying to listen on audio, but I'm not able to hear you. Okay, I just saw a question come in. Is it the question that we just saw pop up or? Okay, so um, I'll read the question and then I'll show the before and after procedures that we have here. Um, it says, how often do you perform maintenance? Um, really, I, it, it, a lot of it depends on your daily habits. But if you've done the professional in-office whitening, um, you want to maintain by doing a simple procedure, whether it's with the home product, um, doing 30 minutes a, 30 minutes once a month, or if you have the Lux Bright, you're going to do one 15-minute session once a month. Um, I can go ahead and I don't know if I'm able to share the before and afters that we have here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it looks like the connections are really not not too not doing too well here. Well, we are speaking from all from all the way from Houston. So I understand that there could be some technical difficulties with this. <clears throat> okay, so um, how can we, how is it available um, in the Philippines? <clears throat> well, um, Mr. Rocha is actually our, our representative in the market of the Philippines and he has all products available um, and they're actually, and we are, of course, supportive of each other. So we'll make sure that he has all of our products and anything that you may need. Um, dental offices themselves. Um, <clears throat> we have um, a YouTube videos that shows the procedure that you'll be able to put in your location. We have, of course, any marketing materials that you'll need itself, whether it's flyers, brochures. Um, and these are some of the cases that we have of the before and after. Um, so, uh, you know, people are always going to ask what are, what can I expect as far as results? And you'll see these from results. Um, one best way to, to explain getting your results is teeth whitening, especially with the in-office whitening, your teeth are going to get as white as your natural tooth color. Um, of course, if you have many stains over many years of smoking, um, you know, drinking tobacco or a coffee, um, then you'll see more dramatic results. Standard way of, of, of most of the results that you'll see, and you'll see these in this case, for example, this case jumped um, about five shades in, in teeth whitening. The average is gonna be anywhere from three to five. Of course, we'll see some major cases as the one in this image where it's actually was eight shades. Um, but if you have some cases, and actually I'm gonna show you um, like this one, for example, um, the teeth were already fairly white, but if those teeth are going to be fairly white and there's still room to improve, it's going to get it to your maximum level, which in this case, it was three shades. Um, so the average is going to be three to eight shades. Um, average is going to be five shades, but it's going to be anywhere from three to eight shades. The, dar the darker your teeth are, the more results you're going to see. But of course, if your teeth are already fairly white, what teeth whitening is going to do is going to maximize the results to your closest to your natural tooth color that you'll see. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, uh, what, another sheet that I wanted to provide, and something that I also talked about earlier, was in comparison. Um, Price is going to be anywhere, and it depends on importing fees and everything. But you're, you can dentists are going to look for pricing anywhere. Um, actually, may not be. Let me go ahead and zoom in this more. It's going to 
main way you want to be able to compare to our main competitors is the procedure, how much material is this, how much material is included in the actual product. And this is in our, this is in the Blankwest Pro, which is our more, uh, most popular product. But you'll see that our, our concentration is 35% hydrogen peroxide versus others that use 24 to 30. Um, 34 percent, uh, another common brand in 30 percent, and um, and one that goes up to 40, which again we don't recommend. 35 percent is really the maximum. Uh, but you'll also look at the time of procedures. There, a lot of them are going to be a lot longer, which um, like you don't want to be exposed for teeth whitening for too long of a period. Of course, you need some exposure to it so you can get results as the ones that we're sharing. Um, but some people can tend to be a little bit, uh, you don't want them to get too carried away with teeth whitening and and do too much teeth whitening. People believe that they're gonna, if they keep doing a professional procedure now and they do one in six months or so, or in three months or so, that they're gonna keep getting wider and wider and wider and wider. No, that's not gonna be the case um, with teeth whitening. Teeth whitening, and I'll repeat it, will get as close to your natural tooth color as possible. Um, if you're doing more than more in teeth whitening, then that's when you're starting to run the risk of maybe damaging your teeth because you're exposing too much acidity, too much, um, um, just too much exposure of a high percentage hydroperoxide to your teeth, and that cannot really be recommended. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Okay, let's see. Um, Okay, can you, the time again. Um, when you're talking, when you're talking about time, are you talking about time of procedure or? Okay, so there's two, and there's actually why, especially in the Blankwist Pro, which is the most popular product that we have. It there's two options, and we keep, of course, the patient in mind the most with this and we want to make sure also that we have um the dentist and, and what investments they've made already the blankwist pro is designed for any dental office to be designed if a dentist has already invested in an accelerator and they don't want to have to buy another one that's okay because they can use our Blankwist Pro, the in-office, with the accelerator they have already in hand. If they do have an accelerator, then what they're going to do is they're going to do three 10-minute sessions. Okay? Three 10-minute sessions. So it's faster when the light, the white, the light doesn't do the whitening. It speeds up the process. So it's three 10-minute sessions. Now, some dentists are going to go, okay, but I don't have a light. I don't want to have to invest in a light. That's okay. You don't have to invest in a light. Um, you can use the same Blankwist Pro, but instead of doing three 10 minute sessions, you're going to do three 15 minute sessions. Now, all of this is going to vary 24 hours, just eight hours, one day, eight hours, the second day, eight hours, the third day. Um, so it's 24 total hours of exhibition. We did 30 procedures during that time. Okay. That's a great number of procedures done in a 24 hour period. What, now, the reason why I say this is because in, we had a light, okay? And we used the light, we did three 10 minute sessions in all cases, but in some cases, you'll be, as, as you're getting experience on doing more teeth whitening, well, maybe some of their teeth are already fairly white. Okay, then you don't have to do three 10 minute sessions, perhaps shorten it to two, three eight minute sessions. Or if you see somebody who has darker teeth, and even if you have a light, then perhaps you need to push it to 12 minutes each. Okay, so you can, it, there, there's no strict time that you have to do the procedure, but what we recommend, a standard, with a light, do three 10-minute sessions. If you don't have a light, then it's better to extend it to three 15-minute sessions. There's no break in between. There's no, um, you're not, also, this is something that I've seen some dentists do. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to apply the gel on the teeth, after you put the gingival barrier, of course, and you're gonna let it sit there with the light for 10 minutes or without a light for 15 minutes. After it's done, suction it out and go ahead and apply the next layer right away. There's no rinsing in between, 
okay? Rinsing is not to be done in between the procedures because when you're rinsing, you're actually breaking down the process of whitening faster. You don't want that to happen, okay? So you're gonna do it back to back to back. Of course, you wanna suction as much of the gel that was there from the session before because you don't want to, you don't wanna, I don't wanna use the word, um, you just pretty much want to use the new gel that has been um, that has been still left in in the gel, um, and also there's no mixing required with our syringes. I know some of our competitors require some double mixing to be. That's an extra step. That takes more office time. No, the gel is already ready for application. Okay, you just. Um, make sure you refrigerate it. Uh, that's actually a big component. Make sure you refrigerate it, um, but remove the, the gel out of the kit and the, you do the ginger layer application and you go straight to the, to the whitening, three 10 minute sessions. That's why this is so quick and so simple so that it is very effective use of the dentist time. Um, <clears throat> okay, so what is the advantage of Blanquist Pro over the existing whitening products? Okay, so, um, with my experience, again, I've, I've been um, developing dental products and teeth whitening products for over 15 years. And what I would consider the main advantage is going to be the time of procedure that is going to be faster. Um, we're able, since we're using such a high percentage and 35% hydrogen peroxide, we're able to shorten the procedure. That along with our ingredients, you are going to be, um, it, it, sensitivity is going to be a minimal issue. So I'm not gonna speak badly about the other competitors because the results are effective, but so are ours. Our results are gonna be very effective, but we're gonna be providing faster results, which in turn gives a better experience in teeth whitening, less sensitivity, and of course the cost. The cost is gonna be more than competitive. To the major brands that you're, um, again, I, I don't want to mention competitor brands, but those main ones, I can guarantee you that our cost is going to be half the cost of theirs, half the cost of our competitors, faster procedure, <laughs> effective. Um, okay, one says only a dentist can administer your whitening. Um, not necessarily. A, a dentist does need to be present, but we've seen in most dental offices, um, oh, yeah. <laughs> where, where the technician or the dental assistant does the whitening. Um, that lets you offer more procedures in your okay. dental office. Arturo, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> another, this is, really we had a trouble with the connection, but uh, I think a lot of dentists, also a lot of people are asking questions. So okay. we're very uh, happy here. to answer all of those. And uh, I think uh, Mr. Arturo have already uh, answer most of the questions and they have uh, repeatedly given you an opportunity for you to really uh, get to know how and what why is it very effective why is it economical also at the same time because dentists would love also on the other side of being a professionals on the other side of serving people we also want to get the return of investment and actually earn also right Mr. Arturo so uh, we're very happy that we are the exclusive partner in the Philippines and we're very happy to really promote bleaching. As a matter of fact, we promote our products uh, first before thinking about any other thing. This product works and everything works well uh, at the same time. It will just continuously uh, give us an opportunity for the dentist to provide more whitening uh, uh, session to their, to their, to their patients. No? Yes, yeah. very much so, and I appreciate so, uh, your support. And and if if I'm not if I wasn't able to answer all the questions, um, and I get and I'll throw to through Dr. Roche, um, I make myself completely available. Um, you can find us on Facebook to write any message to us directly or to Dr. Roche. And um, again, we want to make this uh, uh, as efficient and as welcoming as possible. And uh, somebody asked about main brands. I think another advantage for us is that. Uh, we're, we're a family business, so we're going to give that family touch. Um, we're here to support you. We're going right. to, you know, everyone is in the global dent family, as Mr. Rochi is. And, Thank you very much, Mr. And Arturo. we'll be, you know, we're going to make this uh, a very um, personal, we're going to make it personally, we're going to do everything possible to make sure to um, answer all of your concerns and be there to help you along the way. Yeah. Okay, so so I think uh, we have tackled everything about the widening. How, why is it? 
so effective? Why is it cost effective? Why is it the best whitening products in the world today? So uh, this is a baby company. We are together. We will build the empire in giving you services, giving you the best products available in the market, in the whole market today. We firmly believe that Arturo has that particular vision and we, we are into him. That's why we, we will ride the bus or the, the train together with him. We will ride this uh, vision and mission to provide a better product for the whole dentist in the country as we move along with some other niche of the market. We firmly believe that uh, this is a great product. We firmly believe that this products really, really work, but because we have tried it and uh, we're confident that you're going to have the same results as we did. So with that, uh, any final message, inspiration, motivation, uh, especially during the time of uh, enhanced community quarantine, COVID-19, Mr. Arturo, go ahead. Yes, yes. Um, we're all in this together and, and we are going to make it through this uh, challenging period. Uh, we make ourselves completely available for any questions or concerns, of course, regarding teeth whitening. Um, we certainly hope that you're able to, you know, everyone out there is able to join us. But I think our, our main focus right now should be safety and, of course, hope and prayers for everybody to, to make it through this through this period. I know we'll come out of it way ahead. Um, just be patient uh, and be hopeful. And, of course, our prayers go to everybody all over the world and, of course, the Philippines. And, and we look forward to our bright future together. Wow, thank you. Thank you very much for that. So we do appreciate your presence with, with us today. I know it's night time there. It's time for you to rest. It's, uh, you stay home, be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. I hope to be able to see you physically during our meeting. Yes. And uh, for those attendees of Wajas, for those who have tuned in to ask questions, thank you very much. Continue, continue to, to like and uh, subscribe or get into the Dental Marketing Philippines as we're going to give you another one on April 22, the same time. So with that, we have to say goodbye to Mr. Arturo. We have, really appreciate your efforts. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you. you very much. Okay. Bye -bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye. So, with that, uh, 